Come on, start! Bow, 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 bow. All right, B, ready to head back? No, the battery's dead. Call Will. Have him pick us up. Aw, oh, dude, I can fix it. Let me know if the lights come on, B. Hey, they came on. There we go. Now it's purring like a cat. Nice work, John. Wait, what's that noise? Huh. You got AAA? Hop on Halo and subscribe to No Way It's Brandon. No Way It's Brandon. Power to the gamer. Ready to eat for everyone. Firefight. Set, start, tough luck on. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You guys know who it is. It's your guy. No way, it's Brandon. Coming at you guys again with another video for today. How you guys doing, man? You guys doing well? You guys doing great? You guys doing absolutely stupendously. Fantastic. As always, guys, we're back right at it with some more Halo 3. ODST today, man. Playing some more Firefight. But we got a flood fight going on today, and I don't see... Yep, I do see him right down here. Wow, look at all these guys. Oh my god, I missed a nade! Hopefully everyone is doing well, doing great, doing absolutely. Stupendously. Fantastic as always, guys, man. So for today, we're going to dive right into the topic at hand. And Stay down. so I'm sure that you guys know that a couple weeks ago, I made a video... Kind of talking about the, or actually not kind of, but I was. I was talking about the, the Best Buy exclusive, or the, um, I'm not, I forget if it was exclusive, but the, um, the extra DLC that you get for Halo Infinite when you pre-order the game through Best Buy. I think it's not just Best Buy, by the way. I think it's also GameStop even, but anyway. So you get the Zeta Sky armor coating and the Zeta Sky weapon coating. And so I pretty much told you guys how not excited I was about, about those things. <laughs> I said, this is kind of whack. It ain't really all that cool. And I was gonna end up making a video uh, talking about how I was pretty much just going to pre-order only the Halo Infinite Steelbook case and the game obviously. So. A hard copy and the seal book and it was gonna be I think just $60 so you know just the usual price for games and I was gonna go ahead and buy the monster energy weapon coatings on eBay because I saw that a little while ago that the that the monster energy coatings were I think about $60 for everything so the commando the sidearm or I'm sorry the sidekick the BR and the assault rifle. Wait a second, what the heck is going on here? Is the game stuck? Oh my god, dude, I, th I think the game's stuck. What the heck, man? Yep, I think the enemies are stuck somewhere and we can't get them, so... <laughs> I'll just try another game right now. All right, sorry about that, guys. I don't know what the heck happened. The enemies just got stuck somewhere or something, but anyway, so I forgot. What was I even saying? I think I was talking about how I was going to end up making a video talking about how I think it might be a much better idea to maybe just buy the steelbook for Halo Infinite and then buy some DLC on the side. So maybe on, say, eBay or something. I think, well, mainly mainly just for me because as I, as I told you guys in the, uh, in the video where I said that the best buy stuff is kind of lame... You know, I didn't want to spend $120 for the game and for some DLC that I didn't even really care for. Because, one, I'm I'm not that big of a fan of, like, blue, really. But I would just prefer to have something green. So I figured, A, just about a month ago, I saw that all of the Monster Energy weapon skins and I think even some emblems were all being sold in bundles for about $60. So you got the commando, the assault rifle, Reloading. the sidearm, and the battle rifle monster energy coatings. And both emblems and I think a 
I think a nameplate even. So I said I would I would much rather spend sixty dollars on a steelbook hard copy of Halo Infinite and sixty dollars for a bunch of weapon skins and some emblems. And it's gonna be something that I know that I'm gonna use. And I figured that I was gonna have much much more value for my money. But <laughs> come to find out. What the heck, bro? Come to find out, I just get blown up by a rocket. I swear to God, dude. <laughs> three for three needs to stop giving these flood people a rocket. That is just insane. But anyway, come to find out. Just yesterday, I... Dude, I hate those rocket flood so much. Oh my God. Let's try that again. So come to find out, I go on eBay to try to buy some of these monster Coming. energy Reloading. weapon coating bundles and I kid you not they are north of 240 250 and I was all dude that is more than the best buy pre-orders because I think the best buy pre-orders come with one the physical copy of the game and it comes with the steel book and one uh, Zeta Sky weapon coating and it's for the br by the way and one zeta sky armor coating and I, th I think it might be about one 119 120 i believe and i'm all dude why why the heck am i gonna pay 240 250 for these weapon skins and it doesn't even come with the game right and i'm gonna be buying weapon skins for a game that's not even out yet i was all no way no way no way but these weapon skins do seem to be exclusive because I see them being advertised as exclusive. So, I mean, I don't know if I if I really want to spend that kind of money for DLC for a game that's not even out yet. <laughs> you know, I kind of have to stress that, stress that point. And I also did see some, I saw some other armor coatings that were, I think maybe $40, I think maybe 50 I will be putting a prices on the screen at some point so that you guys can see everything that I am talking about. But personally, I don't see buying some of these things in lieu of pre-ordering the $120 uh, Best Buy. I don't really see that as being the move just because uh, honestly, what could probably end up happening is that, you know, we all spend oodles and boodles of money on DLC on eBay, right? But then the game comes out and we end up seeing stuff that we like better. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of my main concern is that I end up spending 250 on these monster energy weapon skins just because there's a little bit of green on them. But then Halo Infinite comes out and they have all green battle rifles. They have all green assault rifles. They have all, all green sidekicks. I mean, I don't know what's gonna be in the game is my point. So for all I know, we can have a situation similar to Halo 5 where, uh, well, there wasn't really any money involved with this one, but if you guys can recall back in Halo 5, I think if you completed every single campaign in Halo MCC on Legendary, then you got this exclusive uh, Helio Skrill armor, right? You got helmet and you got a, Hel a Hel Helio Skrill uh, uh, armor set. But then eventually, 343 made different Helio Skrills. So players were pretty pissed because they were all, dude, I just invested not money this time, but I had just invested so much time completing every single campaign on Legendary and you go ahead and make different variations of my armor, that that was a huge slap in the face. And I and then look at I was not part of the group that had grinded to complete every single campaign on legendary, but I felt for those guys because I can literally just spend a little bit of money to buy some of these uh, rec packs in the hopes of getting this uh or in the hopes of getting these other types of helio skrill armors and look very similar to the other players that grinded every single Halo game on Legendary. And really, the only differences were just a few different stripes or whatever, but in battle, 
you didn't really see the difference anyway. You just saw that people had Helio Skrill. So that's what I'm kind of afraid of too, is that I spend money or we spend money on these on these DLC codes on eBay for 50, 150, 250 dollars. And then we end up seeing things that are very similar to them in Halo Infinite when it comes out. I mean, maybe maybe not right at launch, but still, you know, but still, you know, sometime along along the line, we might see things that are going to be very similar or that just look better, maybe just better variations because you guys you guys got to remember that Halo Halo Infinite is going to have support for over a decade. So who knows what 343 is going to add in Halo Infinite over a decade. So I say that you guys should maybe just hold off on buying some of these codes. I mean, if you have already, then you can make the decision of whether you want to resell it again or just keep it and see what happens when Halo Infinite comes out. But personally, I'm going to I'm going to stray away from buying any codes on eBay just because I don't know what's going to be coming out in in Halo Infinite. You know, I don't know what's going to be in their little store that they have, because if you guys can recall on my first Halo Infinite video last month, I was showing off the I was showing off the store a little bit because uh, I thought it was kind of cool to, you know, kind of poke around and see how the store is going to work. And for all we know, we can just unlock very similar weapon coatings and armor coatings in Halo Infinite with just in-game currency. No when, you know, we, we, we could have just avoided spending 200 bucks up front right now for things that we can probably even unlock in the game at some point. Granted, all of these uh, Monster Energy skins and stuff are being branded as exclusive. I'm just not sure, you know, if they're going to stay ex exclusive or remain exclusive. They could be exclusive for now. I don't know. That I'm just I'm just very skeptical because I would not put it past 343 to either end up making these weapon skins available in the game somehow some way, whether if we can buy them with real money or if we can just unlock them or whatever the case may be or they end up making slightly different variations of these i would not put it past them so that's why personally i'm just i'm probably just going to get the gonna gonna get the steel book for 60 bucks and then and then whatever extra money that i would have spent on the other editions of halo infinite i'm gonna use that money when i see something else in the game that i really like so hopefully i give you guys some kind of perspective on that Maybe just kind of a different way to go about Halo Infinite in terms of buying the game and the way pre-orders go. I just I just say be be very, very cautious, you know, because I don't want you guys wasting your money on these skins and on these armor coatings or weapon coatings, you know, butterfinger emblems, whatever it is. And I think these things also come with double XP uh, cards and I think challenge swaps. But you can just unlock those things in game. I mean, just just play the game, because because I I mean I do have to say I am I am the type of Halo player where I don't think that I would want to rock things in the game that I bought. I want to be able to show things off that I had put some time and effort in to unlock. So it just seems less appealing to me to to you know use the monster energy uh weapon coatings when everybody knows that i bought them you know what i'm saying because i think all all of the halo players are are gonna be able to tell when somebody bought something or when somebody unlocked something in the game so that was kind of what i was that was kind of what i was thinking too is that you know i would imagine that a bunch of people are gonna have these monster energy skins anyway so i said you know what I'm just going to save my money. I'm just going to wait and see what comes out. And if I can save myself 250 for <laughs> you know buying buying in-game uh, uh weapon coatings and emblems or whatever, I mean, that's a, that's just what I'm going to do. So, oh, there's only nine bullets left to shoot me, bro. Don't tase me. Don't tase me, bro. Look at this guy go. Oh my god. 
But yeah, guys, just something to think about, too. Whoa! What? Oh, my God, dude. I freaking hate these... I hate these flood having all these OP weapons, man. <laughs> it's so annoying. My teammate probably just took my rockets. Did, did he take the rockets? No, we didn't. I got the rockets back. Oh, thank you, God. But, hey, man, you guys for sure let me know what you all think of these DLCs and how how crazy these prices are for these uh for these weapon and armor coatings on on eBay cuz that is just absurd. I mean, even even just for one weapon skin or for one weapon coating, 138? Heck no, dude. Heck no. 138, that's more than the game. And again, the game isn't even out. And I'm not even sure how these how these weapon coatings are going to look in game. I mean, they they might look cool on the on the cover art, right? But you don't really know how they look in game quite yet. So, I mean, I would imagine that they would look very similar to how they look on these pictures, but still, you know. I want to be able to see how how they look if I really like it in the game. Because I think thankfully in the game, no you can if I remember correctly, I think you can check out how some of these things look before you buy them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway. I just don't see it being a very good idea to buy these, for right now, exclusive armor coatings and weapon coatings for a game that's not even out. And for, for all we know, for all we know, there can be a few different versions of these things. And we would all be just wasting money, man. We cannot be wasting money, bro. And look, I, I haven't even pre-ordered Halo Infinite yet. You know, I was still kind of deciding if I was going to, one, pre-order it from, from Best Buy or pre-order it from Target or or basically deciding which, um, which version that I'm going to get, right? So just wanted to make this quick video for you guys so that way... We could all make a... Oh, dude, look at the sword guy. Look at the sword guy. That's crazy, dog. Can I still swing with this thing? Did the teammate take it? <laughs> T-pose, dog. T-pose, dog. I'm looking scary right now. But yeah, man. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about this stuff because it would just be such a darn shame if we all spent almost $300 on these DLC codes and the game launches and one and then one we see something a lot cooler or two we see the same exact things that we just bought on ebay or three we see things that are very very similar to what we had just bought which was supposed to be more exclusive right so that was just my whole thinking on this stuff and i mean totally i mean it's it's totally not a bad idea either to maybe just buy these i mean if you really really think that or if you guys really really think that these that these codes and weapon skins and stuff are going to be exclusive i mean it might not even be a bad idea to go ahead and buy them right now but do Got not it. redeem the code yet do not redeem just wait until halo infinite comes out and wait and see if there's if there's anything that one you guys like better and if you guys see something that that you like better than what you bought on on eBay for, you know, 250 and you don't see the stuff that you bought on eBay on Halo Infinite, you can just sell those codes and then get your money back and then buy the stuff that you see on Halo Infinite. That's going to be what for five, ten bucks at most. So that is one way to go about it. But. Don't forget that you do still run the risk of th uh, 343 either having things that are very similar in the game or Have they end up reloading. making the same DLC available on the game just at a much cheaper price, which would devalue your your codes that you bought on on eBay. So, you know, just just some food for thought because I don't I don't want to um having have an effect on how you guys buy halo infinite or how you spend your money look at 
if you guys want to spend 250 on some on some eBay weapon skins, then then go for it. But uh, just just keep in mind, it might be a better idea to not redeem them quite yet, because one, you can't even use them, so why would you even redeem them? But but I say don't redeem them so that you can you can at least leave the door open for for you guys to resell them for maybe either the same price or maybe a little bit of, of a higher price. Oh, shoot, dude. Hopefully I don't die. Hold on. Let me try to kill these guys. Let me see if focus really quick. Let me grab these rocks. What the heck are these guys, man? I see him. I see him. My squad is watching me, so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm a wee bit nervous. I don't want to die right in front of him. Oh, dude, I'm weak. 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 Oh, let's go. No. Dude, the rock. Dude, three for three. You gotta take these rocket guys out. No, dude. No freaking way. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, darn it, dude. That sucks. I try to be the hero for the squad, but I just could not do it. But anyway, just to kind of wrap up really quick. Ah, oh, I forgot. I forgot what I was even saying. But basically, it just wouldn't be a bad idea to... Just buy the codes if you want them, but do not redeem them yet. Do not redeem them yet. If you really, really want to buy these codes, I say that might be the the best course of action. <laughs> because again, it would just be quite a shame if you guys or myself bought some of these codes for, I mean, dang, for one, 138, 250 for everything. I mean, and then Halo Infinite comes out and we either see the same thing or things that are very, very very similar so i think so i think that was pretty much all i wanted to say in terms of all that stuff just be careful just kind of keep that in mind i mean that that's a lot of money and 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 this stuff on here is through third party people just other people that probably bought all of the monster energy drinks or whatever and you're not going to get the game with this stuff so just just kind of keep that in mind so as so as for me personally i'm just going to buy the steel book and whatever money that I would have spent either on the um, on the um, extra Best Buy stuff, you know the uh, the uh, the uh, Zeta Sky stuff or the stuff on eBay, I can save that money. And if I see something else that I really really like on Halo Infinite that that I that I have to just buy and I can't unlock it in game, then I'm just gonna use the extra money on that stuff. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait it out and and be patient. But that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to kind of have a have a quick rundown. Well, I guess not really a not really a, a quick rundown, but I just wanted to talk about some of that stuff today. So you guys let me know what you think of <laughs> some of these prices on eBay for this stuff, man, because these prices are just wild. But anyway, guys, thank you again for watching, man. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys can please like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy the content, that would be absolutely stupendously fantastic as always guys and as usual i will see you in the next one and i got a friend's gonna troll